Mo shi mo shi my guys, welcome back to Withering Waves. Why is she so you wanted to end call on vacation? She is sending a special invitation to you. The adventure is about to begin. As she closes friend, you will join the Wooly Warrior on the exciting journey. Today we're doing Encore's companion mission. Encore got friends and don't want to listen to her story. I let me come in. What you telling, Encore? The list of fabric guys like what the fuck am I listening to? What happens next, Encore? Yeah, we want to hear the rest of the story. Oh, settle down, you two. The Wooly Warrior will come out once everyone's nicely in their seats. Plus, Encore is still waiting for a friend. Ah, there he is. He's like, why are you friends with adults? Rover! Encore finally got to see you again. Encore was wondering if you'd come, and even had Cosmos and Cloudy go scouting for you. Something you need for me? Me for you. Encore wants you to come play with us and listen to our stories. Everyone was so busy the last time Encore's here in Jinjo, we didn't even get to play together. Never out Encore won't let that happen again, cause Encore's here on vacation this time. Hmm, vacation? Is this your homework done yet? Do you? What? Encore doesn't know anything about any homework. Anyway, since we finally got some free time, I told Alto I wanted to visit some friends in Jinjo. Oh, but he just lay in his chair, bragged about how he has so much grown-up stuff to worry about and was too busy for playtime. Oh, poor grown-ups. They're always so busy. They don't even have time for stories. Well, too bad for Alto. All I could do was come here by myself with my stories and Alto's wallet. You took his money? <laughs> Damn. Right. Let me introduce you to everyone. But I think most of them have heard about you already. Gather around, everyone. Encore presents to you Rover, savior of Jinjo, hero of heroes. Um, that's what they call me. They're coming towards me. Oh, goodness God. I'm getting fans. But why are the children? Oh, really? So you're the big hero Encore was talking about. She said you took out that giant TD like this, this, and that. So cool. Are you That's here chill. for some stories, big hero? Stories? Yep! Encore stories are really fun! Last time we had one about a big bad wolf that can turn itself into mist! Sounds a lot like Alto. Oh, of course. Oh, there's this other story about a golden-eyed kitty and his little birdie friend with gray feathers. This one's about me and Yang Yang. Yes. Uh-huh. There's plenty more of them. This time, Encore's got a whole new story to tell. Oh, right. I? It's about the adventures of the Wooly Warrior. You'll love it. Oh, I. Uh, oh, I love adventures. That's right. Adventures are the best. So, want to hear Encore's story? If you enjoy stories, Rover, you might even get to go inside one. What do you say, Woolies? Ah! Go inside a story. Is Encore using some kind of metaphor? Doesn't hurt to check it out, I guess. Hmm. Oh, I. Great! Come! Encore has even saved a front row seat just for you. All right, settle down, everyone. The story's about to start. Okay. Uh. Oh, never mind. It's going low. Alright, big story begins. I'll go to Alto, but never mind. I gotta sit down to the story quest. So, I'm gonna sit as a shortkeeper. Can I join? Can I join in over? Short day, my shortkeeper. It's like, is this your girlfriend? Yes. God damn, you got a nice lady. Uh huh. Anyways. Alright, settle down, everyone. The story's about to start. Is it about the gray birdie? 
we didn't get to finish it last time. Nope! Today's story will be about the Wooly Warrior and how she makes her wishes come true. The story begins in a land of boundless imagination known as the Wooly Kingdom. Legend says that deep within the kingdom's castle lies a magical gateway. Whoever passes through it can have any wish come true. To reach this gateway, you must first go over a great many obstacles. Yet, countless adventurers still choose to embark on this journey, for each holds wishes to fulfill. Before setting off on their quests, Fairy Cloudy will ask them, Should you pass through this mythical gateway, you will be granted endless wealth and honor, along with a treasure trove of unforgettable memories. Now, answer me this. What drives you to venture on this risky journey? If you'd ask me, I'd choose wealth. That way, I can buy all the star flakes I can eat. Whoa, what a fat ass! definitely choose honor. That way I'll be famous and everyone would shout my name whenever they see me. Wherever. What about you, brave adventurer? Do you seek riches or fame? <laughs> hmm. 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 I seek... F I seek... Well, both sounds about cool, but fame. It appears you're already quite renowned. <laughs> Just traverse countless lands along the boundless horizon. And all shall know your name. See? Everyone's wishes are different, which also makes their journeys unique. And among these people, there's a small adventurer that goes by the name of Wooly Warrior. When asked about her desires, she replies, I do not seek wealth or honor. Bah! Fairy Cloudy, greatly puzzled by this reply, goes on to ask, If you desire neither wealth nor honor, why do you choose to venture to the Gateway of Wishes? I have but one wish, to be reunited with my family. Fairy Cloudy nods in approval and offers her guidance to the little warrior. Very well, then believe in my tale and close your eyes little warrior and her companions. When you open your eyes, a brand new adventure shall unfold before you. Once we've completed the story together, your wishes will all be granted. So, does the woolly warrior's companion accept this invitation? Close your eyes. Oh my, I'd be like, oh, you drugged me, didn't you? Okay, well, all we the Oh my god! <laughs> Hold up. Is that Encore? I should go check it out. What else looks like? If this was Fischl's kind of thing. Oh, hold on, Encore. I see a chest. He's like, oh, oh it's like, wait, whatever, what are you doing? Hold on. Of the past. Can I? Oh my god. Oh god, how are you not slipping off? Damn. Okay, my ladies, let's. Oh, wash the holes. Okay, okay. Hey, Encore. I'm gonna stand right here, but behind, because why not? You must be new to this place. Are you also searching for the Gateway of Wishes? Gateway of Wishes? Looks like I'm inside Encore's story somehow. Play along. I, indeed I am. That's great. How about we team up? I have a wish I want to make too. Since it's your first time here, everything must feel strange to you, huh? This is the Woolly Kingdom, a land filled with lots and lots of woolies. Look, even the clouds are shaped like them. You're in luck. I know this place like the back of my hand. I can be your tour guide. Hmm, let's, then let's go together. Yippee! Let's go. Fairy Cloud. Oh my gosh, you really said you pee. As we walk along this path, we'll get there eventually. Once we're there, I gotta make her tell us where all the treasure is hidden. Oh, you found one so far? Alright. Encore! Ooh. Alright. Hold up. So I am on I do have her, but I'm not gonna use her. My fire team. I'm okay with the fact that I have Ch uh, Ching Long as one. Open the gift. Please don't hurt me! <laughs> I'm just an ordinary box! <laughs> uh oh, what? Let's keep going. What the Beware! 
This is where many woolly uh, but oh, I was she was taking stand on the bounce pad to put into the air. When the story gets longer, so will the paths ahead. We might even come across broken bridges and stuff. <sighs> Since we'll only be yeah, like this the one. beginning of the story this time, we should get to the end pretty soon. Why is this? Why is there a piano broken here though? I'm curious about that. Woo! Careful, careful, you trust those. Bounce them. And then bounce. Whee! Oh, what is that? Open gift box? <laughs> You're in for some surprises. <laughs> what? Surprises? Uh, enemies? I suspect. Oh, look enemies? at all these monsters. Let's of beat course. Them up. Yeah, kick the ass! Ah! How cool! Swing! <laughs> yep, you're swinging! Yeah, blast. Ooh. That's like a clear attack. Alright. Oh, you're finally here! Those terrible monsters! Uh, this is Cloudy Fairy. She gets scared pretty easily. But she's really nice and will give us directions. She's even got all the settings prepared and everything. Why am I talking so loud? So, you're searching for the gateway of wishes. <laughs> all you need to do is follow this path and collect three relics. <laughs> three relics? Yes. The first relic is the Sword of Courage. To obtain it, you will have to face all of your challenges head on. Be careful. Next, the Shield of Faith. This is a tricky one. But so long as you believe in yourself, you'll find it eventually after searching every nook and cranny. And finally, the Wreath of Hope. A crown of flowers that can reflect a person's thoughts. Never with us, forever blossoming. Once you've gathered all three relics, the Gateway of Wishes will open before you. Perfect. Now that we have clues about the relics, Wooly Warrior's adventures are officially a go. All we need to do now is go through this door and we'll be back to the real world. Oh, thank you, Fairy Cloudy. Oh, you're very welcome, dear. If you have any more questions, do come back anytime. Baba now! Baba to you too. Ooh, a chest! Find us keepers! Yeah. Anyways, leave the domain? I mean, I guess. Uh, Welcome back eyes. from the Woolly Kingdom. Uh, that was the Woolly Kingdom? Yuppers! It's where all the Woolly stories begin. Cosmos and Cloudy's home. With their help, Encore can even invite friends for a visit. But not everyone, though. The Woolly Kingdom won't welcome anyone who thinks the stories are just made up. You're different. You're one of Encore's best friends and have listened to my stories. So Ankur wanted to give you a surprise! Okay. Hmm... That was actually pretty fun. I know, right? You and I work great as a team. Ankur really enjoys this story. In it, Wooly Warrior and her companions work their way out of all kinds of trouble. Just like we did. Mom said that as long as you believe, the stories will give you strength. So whenever I think of them, it makes my heart feel warm. And Encore wants to share this warm feeling with you and make you happy too. Because Encore loves to play an adventure with you. It's just that everyone was so busy last time. But this time, Encore's here on vacation. Curious about what happens next in the story, Rover? If you are, you should join Encore's adventure team. That way, we can go and find out its ending together. Okay. Um, can I be the team captain? Mm, sure. You can be captain, and Encore will be the vice captain. Now, for our first team assignment, let's go find out everyone's thoughts on the story. The joys of the story should be shared with everyone. It's not just my story. Once we know what the audience thinks, we'll know how to work on the story going forward. After all, it's the applause that makes for a curtain call. Let's go axe around. Hi, little bitches! Okay, let's see. Look, that girl by herself over there. Unkar wonders what she thinks about the story. Come on, let's go ask her. He's like, huh? They're talking about me? 
I'm like, hello, ma'am. Do you mind telling me about the, the story? Can I just sit down next to her and just speak to her? No, like, like next to her, next to her. Nope, didn't let me. Okay, fine. Turn around. Ask the shopkeeper, bow him over. Hey, I saw you all by yourself over here. What's your name? Hi, I'm Ying. Ying, got it. This is Rover. He's the captain of Team Willy. Y yes Hello. You're here to ask about my thoughts on the story, right? I actually have something to ask you. Ask away! Encore will answer anything! Oh, okay. Is it true that after gathering all three relics, you can have your wishes come true? Yeah, it's what it says in the story. I... I'd like you to see this. Is that a map? Let me see. Uh, it's a map on a piece of wood. That looks like a lighthouse. And a giant rock over here. But Encore can't really tell exactly where it is. It seems to be in the central place. Whoa. You can tell just from that? Oh, you must have been to every corner of Jinjo. There. An yeah, area it is. on the map is circled out with a sword-shaped sign on it. Wait, could this be a treasure map? That sign must be the Sword of Courage. Uncle remembers that at some point of the story, the woolly warrior will get her hands on a treasure map. This map, where did you find it? It's from my mom. This map is a promise we made. Mom took me to a play one time. Mm -hmm. I remember in that play, the adventurers wanted to have their wishes come true. So with the Wooly Fairy's help, they set off to find the legendary relics. Just like in the story you told us. After watching it, I asked Mom all the time if these relics that could make wishes come true were real, and whether we could go look for them. But she was always busy with work as a ranger, so she wasn't home much. Then, one day, Mom gave me this treasure map. She said she got it from the Woolly Fairy, and it's for one of the hidden relics. She told me next time she came back from work, she would go relic hunting with me, and that I wouldn't have to be afraid of anything with her around. She wanted me to think hard, about what I'd wish for most once we found all the relics. I... I thought of a lot of wishes. I wanted to have all the star flakes I could eat. <laughs> lots and lots of new toys. But... but now... I only have one wish. I want to see my mom again. There are so many things I want to tell her. The grown-ups all said that Mom was on a mission somewhere far, far away. But I felt like they were hiding something from me. I knew Mom was never coming home. But I just wanted to see her again. And then I thought of her treasure map. I told Dad about the map. And he just hugged me and didn't say anything. But when I heard your story... I was thinking, if it's all true, then maybe, just maybe... Like, mm, let's see... Then you should join our team! Encore knows that grown-ups always say that kind of thing just to be nice. Most of them are okay, just a little stuffy sometimes. Encore's heard a lot of them before. So, Encore can tell what's real and what's not. Like this treasure map? It's 100% real, that's for sure. Y you really think so? Yep. Trust me, since your mom left you this treasure map, then there's more reason we should go look for it. Plus, Rover and I are searching for an ending to the story. Now, the clue to the ending is right in our hands. What do you say, Captain? 
Let's get this journey started. Why no, Cat Vice Captain? Just give me thumbs up. <laughs> Team Wooly is ready to roll out. Objective: the three relics. Height difference, hmm. my goodness. I'm not really familiar with Jinjo. Have you ever been to that place, Ying? Yeah. Mom would sometimes take me on a field trip there. But she warned me not to go there alone because TDs might show up. That's why she said she wanted to go with you. Together. Speaking. All right then, it's settled. Let's go. Got no time to waste. Alright, uh, Uncle. So how far is this looking go next door? Teleport here faster is more easier. Get up here. What the? What are they doing? You see that, guys? According to the treasure map, the sword should be around here somewhere. Why are there so many Tic Tacs? Are they having a party? <laughs> What are they doing? Uh, they look really angry. They're much of a threat. No need to be afraid, Ying. We'll keep you safe. You probably don't know this, but Wooly Warrior once met a huge cat monster a hundred times stronger than her. And she was so scared that her legs were trembling. Uh, really? That's right. But even so, she stood her ground. Because she had all of her friends behind her, she had to fight. Just like the situation we're in now. You can't let a few small TDs beat you down. Let's make this quick, Encore. Yeah, watch this girl. I mean, we do have this one. Go, showkeeper. Summon the dragon. My goodness, God. This again. Whoa. And this again. They're getting hurt real bad. Oh, man didn't do much. That's okay. You two were incredible. <laughs> you betcha! Wait till you see what else we can do. Am I right, Rover? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We'll take on anything they chuck at us. Quick! Let's check and see if the sword's around here. Uh, is that some kind of puzzle over there? Do we need to put something inside of it to activate it? Oh, it's a bit too high for Ying and me to reach. I got it. Looks like we just need to place the treasure map on top. That's it? Really? I mean, I guess so. So let's grab the puzzle. And then what next? Did this pop out? What? Just like that domain area. I'm gonna touch the puzzle, um, gift. Oh, there's another puzzle. Yes, there is. Was it not in the story before? Oh, well, okay. we're so high up. This is even higher than any of the climbing games Mom and I used to play. Just keep looking ahead and it won't be as scary. It's easy. Here, watch. Yeah, look at us. Why are you bouncing up? You stare at her ass at the same time. <laughs> you can't even look anyway. Let's get going. So we keep going this way, and then look at this way. Yes, we got this. Make we it got fast. This. <gasps> oh God, Willy! Really? I'm gonna go slow. No running. I'm just gonna go jog my way through. Winds, heed my All command. Right. Now we heal. Just gonna be careful. Now open the gift box. What's in the box? Ah, right, so if you fall down, you're like ah! <gasps> so. Is this the sword in a story that can slice through anything? How do we know? It's the mountain chopping sword of courage. Looks unique. Huh. The sword's actually made out of wood. And it's missing a small piece too. Look, there's a letter. What does it say? Hmm. My dear little warrior, you found the first relic. Right now, you must be thinking, what a plain looking sword. How could this ordinary wooden sword possibly be the legendary sword of courage? Don't feel disappointed just yet. 
think back on what you've been through so far. Mm -hmm. All the challenges you faced along the way. The waves under your feet felt so high to you. And the treasure chest above seemed ever so far away. Mm -hmm. Yet still, you continued to climb the mountains every step of the way until you finally reach the peak. Your courage has been heard. And this seemingly ordinary wooden sword is the proof of your courage. Yeah, that's what it says in the letter. How did you know, Encore? Did it also appear in other woolly stories? Uh-uh. Uh, anything else? Did the letter mention any clues about the next relic? <laughs> we still have two to go. Um, it, yes. It goes on to say, Oh, little warrior, your adventure doesn't end here. To have your wishes come true, courage alone is not enough. You need not look far, as the shield that symbolizes faith is buried right beneath your very feet in a land covered in sand. Treasures may lay, or there may be nothing at all. A land covered in sand. I know just the place. I'm looking at it right now. Then let's being... go check it out. Uncle's just being Sounds cute. Sounds like it'll be a treasure hunt in the sand. That's what it looks like. I've jumped down. All right, ladies. We jump down. Oh, we just... Yeah, the hill. Yeah, that's it. Bounce. Why is this here anyways? Let's go down. Whee! And this... The swing! How did I twist your ankle like that? Okay. <gasps> We're here! At long last, the brave adventurers reached their second destination. Um, and only took a few seconds. They start a hunt for the legendary Shield of Faith on this sand covered beach. They say only the bravest adventurers can find it as it puts their will to the test. Time to calm the beach. Yeah. That's the spirit. Ying can go left, Unkar will go right, and you can take care of the middle. If anyone finds anything interesting, show me, and we can take a look at it together. Okay. Got it. <sighs> uh, so, middle. Okay. Uh, look, dig. Surprise, so I'm building the churches. Who oh, no, maybe this thing is trying inside. Hold on. Let's do it one by one. Dig this. I shut the beach the floor, nothing, but you can't help one though. Does the shell faint the story really exist? A shell? Really? Let's just show you. I don't see. I don't look how. I don't look how angle looks like. You dig up an old boot. Hey, no loading! Why did I say that? Um. No, let's check here. Dig! Bingo. This has to be the Shield of Faith. Hmm. There's a letter attached to it. I should bring it over to Encore and Ying. Yeah, sure. What about the chest of field? Hold up, hold up. I mean, the, the gift. Let's open the Is gift. there anything of interest? No. That was actually sucky, dude. But money? I guess we got something, right? Encore! Well? Did you find the shield? Got it in my hands. <gasps> Way to go! I know who to call if I ever need to find something. I'll go get Ying. King. This should be the shield mentioned in the story. It's also made of wood. But look how oh well my God, made what is this, it Minecraft is. now? With the sword of courage in one hand and the shield of faith in the other, it's an invincible combo. What is that? A wooden armor just like Minecraft? The person who crafted this shield really knew their stuff. There's also a letter. Time for clues about the next relic. The wreath of hope. Hurry! Yin! What does it say? Oh, okay. Let's see here. It says... Congratulations again to you, my little warrior. Okay. Although the bulk of your efforts were in vain, you did not give up and continued searching. Hence, 
This shield of faith is your well-deserved reward. If you ever feel lost in the future, why not take a moment and ponder on the meaning of your journey? The firm belief in our hearts shall guide us through darkness until we reach the light of hope. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, how can you find the wreath of hope? Bring with you your wishes and proceed to the Garden of Promise. The Garden? The Garden of Promise. Oh, I think I might know where it is. Really? Fantastic! Then that's our next stop. Onwards! What was it? Actually, I'm lost. I have no idea what the fuck that is. Like, ah, why are you even trying? Go past Palos, guys. Don't want to see us. Don't let them see us. It's actually right here? Underneath this thing? Really? I mean, it actually does look like it, though. Not gonna lie, that part. And just grab this, grab that, grab this, and then just grab this. Is it by here, exactly? Enemies. At your disposal. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. One, one, one! It's actually right here. I'm being attacked. <laughs> ah! I thought I'd be on the ground or something. Never mind. Take it back. It's actually right here. Ooh, you know what? This does look like it. This is it. This place uh, feels empty. There's nothing here. It is now, but, but it used to be filled with irises. This is my mom's garden. She used to love flowers and would plant a lot of them when she wasn't busy. Before she left, she asked me to help look after it and said she'd come see it with me when she's back. I watered them every day, hoping they could bloom longer. But these flowers only bloom for a short time. They all withered in the end. Dad told me, Don't be sad, sweetie. It's the natural cycle of life. I understood that. But it always reminds me of my promise to Mom. I miss her so much. Now I see this shield and sword are all treasures that mom left me. And here, I think she probably wanted to make a wreath with me using those flowers. Oh, Ying. Thank you, Encore and Rover. Actually, when I saw dad looking sad while holding the map, I had the feeling that Mom might have left this treasure map to play a game with me. Maybe it is like what the grown-ups say. The gateway of wishes doesn't exist, and I may never get to see her again, talk to her, and tell her how much I've grown. But Mom must have wanted to give me a surprise. To make me happy. I am happy. Because we managed to find all the treasures she left behind together. I'll definitely find a nice place to keep this sword and shield safe. I think we should end our adventure here. Thank you, Encore and Rover. Hmm. Uh, you're welcome. <sighs> Encore? Captain hasn't announced the end of our adventure yet. And you're thinking about leaving already? Well, okay then. Let's call it a day right here. There's some stuff I need to wrap my head around too. Uh, I remember you asked me about the ending of the Wooly Warrior, right? Even though we finished finding the relics, Team Wooly's adventure goes on. There's still plenty of stories to tell. Uh, oh, I know. How about you come to Encore Story Session tomorrow afternoon? Tomorrow? You mean right here? Yeah. If you want to find out what happens to Team Wooly, come over and listen to the rest of the story. Be there or be square. I... Okay, then. I'll see you tomorrow. Yep. See you tomorrow, Ying. 
See you tomorrow, Yin. Do you think this is a good ending to the story? Hmm. It is just a bad ending. Yeah. After all, Ying didn't receive the reef, and she didn't get to see her mother. Even though in the end, the little warrior did manage to collect all of the relics left by her, realizing her mother's intentions. <sighs> but Encore still feels like something's missing. And this ending? She didn't even make it to the Gateway of Wishes. Just like in the story of the Wooly Warrior. What do you think? Will the Wooly Warrior's wish come true in the end? Hmm. It will come true. If it comes true, then she should be able to see her family again. After such a wonderful and interesting adventure, she must have so much to say to them. But actually, there is no true ending to Wooly Warrior's story. Remember the play Ying told us about when she showed us the treasure map? Mm hmm. Ying said she'd already forgotten what most of the play was about. All she could remember was that the hero had been searching for a legendary treasure to make their wishes come true. Ha! I knew straight away that the treasure map wasn't for the Wooly Warrior's sword, but it was a gift left to her by Ying's mother. Wanna guess how I found out? Uh, because of the Wooly Warrior story. Is that yeah. why? That okay. That play was about the Wooly Warrior story. And I remember each and every part of it. Because that play was a gift from my mom. Now time for a story from Encore. Okay, give it to me. In this story, there are no exciting adventures, no terrifying monsters. It didn't happen once upon a time, and it's not somewhere far, far away. Rather, it's in a little room. Every night, there's a little girl. Hey, Mongoy. She plays games with her mother. <gasps> oh, she looks so cute! As the Wooly Warrior. Together, she That's her mom? Her mom creates oh story God. after story about courage and hope. Very beautiful mom. It also happens in her theater. Every day, the little girl sits below the stage. The curtain rises and the music plays. She watches her mother set everything up. Bring in the woolly kingdom from the story into real life. Little by little, the woolly kingdom becomes real. And the woolly warrior sets off on her adventure. She first climbs the tallest mountain, looking for the legendary sword that can split mountains and seas. But it's really so the girl can prove how brave she is. The toolbox was actually on the tallest shelf. The woolly warrior also searches every beach, looking high and low for the shield of faith that could brave any storm. Her house had many nooks and crannies after all. Damn, look at that. The raspberry candy her mom hid could be anywhere. Her mom recorded all the Wooly Warrior's adventures, so the Wooly Kingdom grew bigger and bigger, and the stories grew longer and longer. They even performed the play in many cities, but the little girl's mom got sicker. At the last show, just before the woolly warrior got the wreath of hope, the show ended, but there was no encore. Wow, no encore. I'm just sitting next to her now. What happened? Mom told me that once the applause starts at the final show of our tour, she'd take me onto the stage to make a wish. But she collapsed before the play ended. I was so scared. I tried to come up with ways to make her feel better. 
I even kept a daily to-do list at the time. I thought that if I stayed a good girl like the characters in the stories, Mom would get better and better. But her illness got worse. She didn't get better. And the gateway of wishes never appeared. Encore didn't know what to do anymore. Mom just asked me to sit by her bed and tell her stories. So I told her about Warrior Cosmos, Fairy Cloudy, and many other things. <laughs> she always smiled each time. It was right around that time when Cosmos and Cloudy appeared from the stories. Mom told me they're a part of life. And these stories will always be with me. After she left, Encore had to become the woolly warrior, going on adventures on her own. Whether it was in the orphanage or with the Black Shores, Encore would write down everything she experienced. With these stories, Mom will know what kind of adventures Encore had and all the friends Encore made. Later on, Encore wanted to continue writing the Wooly Warrior story. But this time, it's a bit different from before. Now she has her own friends. Friends that she can adventure together to find the Gateway of Wishes. Because finding that gateway is the only way she can tell all her stories to her mom. So she knows how well she did. That's why... Mm, you wanted to go on an adventure with Ying. Yeah. She said she had a lot to say to her mother. Oh, just like me. There's so much Encore wants to say, and so many stories that Encore wants Mum to hear. Our time with Ying reminded me of all of that. Even though Wooly Warrior's story has no true ending, will Ying's be any different? Will she be able to make her wish come true? In the end, Ying said the adventure is over and it's just a story. She said she was happy and satisfied with that. But Encore saw that look on her face. She looked really, really sad. Encore knows how it feels, just like how it used to be. No matter what Encore did, Mom wouldn't get any better. My stories were the only things that could make her feel happy. It was Mom who made me understand the power of stories. That's why after I went on this journey alone, Cosmos and Cloudy came out of the land of imagination. And it's why Encore told Ying that our adventure should not end like this. This story deserves a better ending. Hmm. Not just seeing story. Oh, Rover. We should finish the story together. <laughs> Agreed. The story must have an ending. But what should we do? Oh, there's no way we can bring Ying's mother back. I mean, the Gateway of Wishes doesn't actually exist in real life. Then let's go find the story. In the story? I remember Cloudy said that if you ever find yourself in a pickle in real life, you can always go back to the Wooly Kingdom to search for clues. You also mentioned that's where the Gateway of Wishes is hidden, right? And you've always wanted to finish writing the story of the Wooly Warrior. This means the final stage of the story should be set inside the Wooly Kingdom. <gasps> Encore sees what you mean! Encore uh -huh. could invite you and Ying into the Wooly Kingdom and go on a real adventure with me, the Wooly Warrior. But uh, the kingdom isn't some place you can go willy nilly. Hmm. Um. Uh, we need Ying to realize that we're her friends. That's for sure. We're a team together. <gasps> we should make a wreath for her and let her know that our adventure is not over yet. Uncle remembers it went something like this. The wreath is a crown of flowers that can reflect a person's thoughts. Never withers, forever blossoming. Uh, how are we gonna make it? I know just the person. You mean Verena? <gasps> That's what? right! Verena loves flowers. She's a flower's best friend. Let's see also if she we. has any ideas. 
Yeah, sure. We're going to free right now. Looks like we are. Felina! Hello! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, Felina. Are you here? Oh, she is. She looks camouflaged from a distance. What the hell? Is she that camouflage? It's like I get close to see her. Hi, Rover. Oh, Encore's here too. How's it been? Hi, bestie! Are you here to see the new blossoms? You'll have to wait a while. They're still a bit shy. Hey, Verena! Uh, not exactly. We're here to ask you how we can make the wreath of hope. The wreath of hope? It's a long story. So, once upon a time, you gave me a one of the story. I see. You want to help finish the story Ying's mother left her and make her wish come true. But I don't know how to make such a wreath either. According to the story, this wreath is made of various kinds of flowers. It can reflect a person's thoughts and it must blossom forever and never wither. The flowers that can reflect people's thoughts. Um, the ones that I can think of are water lamps. These flowers emit a faint glow at night, and passersby use them to guide their way. Or wintry bells. Wintry bells bloom in cold and snowy weather. Seeing them in a cold winter will definitely make you happy. It can definitely. also be duvetches. Due to their sweetness, they remind people of sugary candies. However, these flowers all bloom in different seasons, so it'll be hard to put them together, let alone have them blossom forever and never wither. What if we use 40? Yeah, I remember you created a Blake bloom for Rover that one time. That's a bit different. Flowers made with 40 are just artificial creations. They can easily break up without actual substance. It's not the same as life. Every life has its own journey, from blooming to withering, recording the feelings of every moment along the way. Feelings? Oh, I know! Since we can't really make a wreath of flowers exactly like the one in the story, we can make one using our feelings. Feelings? Yeah, exactly! When me and Mom made wreaths, She'd always ask me to pick my favorite flowers. If I was feeling happy, I would choose a bright red flower since it made my heart feel warm. And if I was feeling unhappy, I would take a blue one. At this point, it really doesn't matter what kind of flower it is. All that matters is everyone's feelings. Hmm. Everyone chose the flowers would be different. We should make a wreath and tell Ying our wishes to make our dreams come true. I see what you mean. A wreath made with feelings. With that, you can express yourself. That's right! Let's find flowers that can express our feelings. All right. When she sees the wreath, she'll definitely realize that the story of our team is still going. This way, we can all visit the Wooly Kingdom together. And maybe our wishes can come true. Do you mind if I help? Once you've collected enough flowers, Bring them to me. I'll help you weave them into a wreath. Great! Yeah. Oh, thank you, Verena. Off we go! Let the give each other leave. Those two. Hey, bye! Wait, where are you going? Wait, oh, around. Hmm. Just for flowers, just for your feelings. To. So, we need two of the red ones. I mean, not butterflies. How cool, if I find anything. There should be a way, apparently. Okay, there's Angelic. Okay, another one. Oh, look, we found another one. Nice. Uncle! We, we found them! No, okay, here we go. Here you go. Have you found the flowers you want? Give her the pink flower. Look how pink it is! You must have been in a really good mood when you picked this one. And these? <laughs> these are. Encore's picks. <laughs> That's quite the selection, Encore. What do they all represent? Uh, have a look at this one. It's gold and shiny, and it matches the color of your eyes, Rover. Encore picked flowers that resemble everyone. If we put them together, they can represent our whole team. Oh, that's pretty special. 
I'm sure it'll look really nice once they're all together. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, one more thing, Verena. Can you leave a spot here on the wreath? Leave a spot? It's for Ying. We don't know what kind of flower represents Ying's feelings. So we should leave a spot and let her decide which feeling to put on there. Got it. I'll take it from here. Oh, thank you so much, Verena. Rover, when the wreath is done, we can go tell Ying the rest of the story. Don't forget! Tomorrow afternoon. I won't be late. Totally. Who knows? Anyways. What the? I see that. Oh my god. I see that moss in the distance. The hell? Oh, and I'm gonna go there. Like, subscribe. I'll see you later. Sayonara.